A large crowd gathered on Drayton Street to celebrate the opening of Bridge to Home's new interim housing facility. This is a huge milestone for us. The organization first broke ground on the property in 2022. Two years later, it's finally complete. It's been a labor of love. It's been a long journey, a long journey that has been the result of communities, private and public entities coming together to build this amazing facility. The new shelter comprises a men's dormitory, a women's dormitory, apartment-style family units, a communal dining area, and other amenities. It can house approximately 40 men, 20 women, and eight families. What's particularly exciting to me because it's so rare and it's so hard to find is that there is family housing here. With this facility, Bridge to Home will not only assist their unhoused clients, but others in need of basic necessities. We will be able to house over 100 people here at a time, but we will serve over 1,000 people a year. That's folks who are in need of services who we can't house, but they'll be able to come in, take a shower, do their laundry. We have special places just available for them and to provide meals for them as well. Bridge to Home's next step will be acquiring funding to operate this facility. Fortunately, Assemblywoman Pilar Schiavo got the ball rolling with a $1.25 million check. The work that's been happening here in this community to get to this place where Bridge to Home has a permanent home uh, is so important and so inspiring, and I'm so happy that we can be a part of it. Bridge to Home plans to begin moving clients in by June. For Canyons News, I'm Samantha Pierce.